good. The fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school break your face open type of power. And he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup here tonight. All right, so here is the heavyweight power threat, Francis Ngannou. Couple of outliers on his resume, the weird fight against Derek Lewis, but he came back in a big way. Back-to-back -back knockouts of Curtis Blades and Cain Velazquez that put him right back into heavyweight title contention. If you're a fan of the sport and you see a young fighter like Francis Ngannou, that's exactly the type of response you want from him when he had a rough go. Go back to the drawing board. Come back remotivated. Focus on the task at hand Start knocking people out, get back, use what got you to the show in the beginning. And the knockout of Blades and the knockout of Kane showed that Francis Ngannou is once again ready to move himself back into title contention. And his knockout of Alistair Overeem in 2017, the knockout of the year, Spaceship. according to most. Spaceship. Overeem's still in orbit. Yes, he is. He has to be. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Ngannou is 33. Lewis is 35. He weighed in at 260 pounds. Ngannou will have the four-inch reach advantage. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now we can see his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A boxer holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Francis, the Predator and God. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's gonna be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Trying the flying knee there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out Velasquez. Put out Dos Santos. And he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of his martial arts. He's back to the prison position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the twin. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Alright, so now we see some dirty boxing in the Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh! Two minutes.
minutes have expired in our opening round. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the Black Man. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Effective punch there by the Black Beast. Oh, oh big nice knee. Game. Oh! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice hook lands. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lewis. Nice punch there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Swing and a miss by the Black Beast. He'll engage in a single power tie. Able to check the high kick. Oh, you see him land the chip. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lewis. Oh, a beautiful straight right hand. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh! Punch lands. Now he gets back in range. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and not look up. How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but. That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Start of round okay, two, right. Francis Ngannou. Right. And that man, of course, Derek Lewis. That one's the man. Nice play. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lewis's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Slips the punch. Nice punch, man, over the top. All right, so Francis and Ghana pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jab. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, fight behind his jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for a knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. So 58 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. One out of every three thus far, landing with 33% accuracy tonight against Francis Ngannou. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard drag. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And he 
catch there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Single collar tie now. Left hook counter. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, right to the mouth. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. So Lewis has got full mount now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is... Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, the thunderous legs. He only it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big leg kick land. Great punch. Whoa! Derek Lewis! Yet another finish! He got him! What a fight! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout?